First, first responders in Woodland Park are bearing heavy hearts after one fellow co-workers tragically died in a car crash Tuesday morning. And tonight, those co-workers are sharing their memories of their fallen friend. Cardio News Channel 13's Tyler Cunnington joins us live. And Tyler, what are they saying now about this tragic incident? Yeah, Paige Heather, Bonnie Culpepper was just getting off her shift working as a full-time paramedic in Eagle County before the 29-year-old became the victim of a two-car crash in Lake County earlier this week. I spoke with several co-workers of hers from the Ute Pass Regional Services District in Woodland Park, where she also worked part-time, who say you just couldn't help but feel the positive energy that she radiated every single day. Magical, cozy ray of sunshine, and I hope that in my life I can be half the woman that she was because that girl is incredible and just the brightest light in any room. From the moment Bonnie Culpepper started at the Ute Pass Regional Services District, she instantly left a mark on her fellow co-workers. I was actually there on Bonnie's interview day and um, uh, I thought she was uh, she was pretty rad. Uh, I remember the first day I met her, she was just effervescent. She was very, very, um, very sprightly, very friendly. She pulled up in this van that she outfitted to, to travel in and sleep in. And I'm like, who is this person that that is sleeping in their van? A lover of the outdoors, agriculture, skiing, in addition to teaching and creating music, Culpepper exemplified what it meant to be a free soul. Any opportunity she had to to explore nature and just find the best in life she she took full advantage of that her passing on tuesday morning in that car crash leaving her friends shocked at the sight of a text message from their chief i was with another member and we both looked at each other in kind of a state of disbelief and um, it was just just that knot in your stomach my heart dropped she definitely left a big hole and we will cherish her memory forever where we are hard to even fit in how much her coworkers had to say, but it's safe to say she had a lasting impact on all of them. A memorial service for Culpepper will be held at Riverside Park in Salida this Saturday at 1 p.m. Reporting live in our newsroom, Tyler Cunnington, Cardio News Channel 13.